Hey guys, this is Eric, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to easily and quickly black out the emblems on your car using Plasti Dip. Alright, guys, and so for the first step to do is to make sure that you've thoroughly cleaned the emblems that you are going to be uh, covering in Plasti Dip. This one here, I've cleaned it off with just a solution of isopropyl alcohol and water, uh, 70 to 30 percent, um, and then dried it off really well. As you can see, I have this facing in the sun to help warm up the, um, the substrate or the surfaces, um, as well as when I spray it, it'll help uh, dry it faster. So first step, very important, is to make sure that the items that you're gonna be cleaning are very well cleaned, or covering are very well cleaned. All right, so after you've got it cleaned, the next step is to mask it off, which you can see I've done here. I just happen to use some uh, scrap vinyl wrap that I had left over and then the backing papers I taped up to create basically a protective barrier uh, to protect all the other areas. Uh, if you get a little bit of overspray it's not too bad because it can wipe right off. Um, but because I forgot to start videoing as well you can see that I already started plastic dipping and so this is basically just the first coat. You just want a light coat uh, very, for your very first one. You can kind of see that it's just a very thin film on there kind of light overspray around it. Um, and then you'll want to let that dry for about 10 to 15 minutes. If I recall correctly, the can says 30, but I found that in the sun, nice, uh, nice day with good conditions, that it'll dry actually faster than that to be able to add the next coat. And we're gonna repeat this process about five more times. Um, and so this is just uh, coat number one. All right, so now it's time to put the next coat on. I let this dry for about 15 minutes. So, Basically hold it about the can about six inches. I just happen to have a trigger spray adapter on top to help me out here. You don't necessarily need this. But again, another um, a light, light coat, but a little bit heavier than, than this first coat. So I'm gonna always start a little bit past it and go over and then start past it and go over. So, and then I'm gonna do at least two different angles here to make sure I get coverage across the top and bottom. So before we do that, let's make sure that it's ready to go. Shake up the can really good since it's been sitting for that 10 to 15 minutes. I've been letting it sit in the sun so that it stays warm and ready to go. Okay, here we go. So, you can see how I'm starting past the actual emblem itself and doing past, uh, passes that way. So that's that one. That's really all you need right now. Again, we're just, we're doing coats here. And then we'll, I'll go thicker in a little, in the next few coats. All right, hopefully I was actually um, videoing that properly. So let's do this. There we go, just like that. Just like that. This guy here, just like that. All right, so that's the next coat, and then we'll uh, let that dry for another 10, 15 minutes. All right, guys, time for coat number three. I've already shaken up the can. Spray out just to get any anything that might be clogged up in there. All right, and so this one I'm gonna do a little bit thicker than before. Again, just starting from past it and going over, and then a little bit thicker, and then I'm gonna angle up and down and straight on. So, first pass, and I'm going a little bit thicker. Okay, so that's that one. Same thing with here. All right. That's it for the third coat. We'll just let that dry. All right, guys. All right, guys, time for the fourth coat here. Just shook up the can, spraying out anything that's left over. All right. Do a nice thick coat on this one here. Again, starting far away and then um, or past the actual emblem and then past the actual emblem. Come at, at an upward angle now. Okay, same thing here.
looks a little crinkly, so I'm gonna give it a little more spray here. Head on. Check this other one here. And you notice I am going a little thicker this time on these last coats. All right, time to let that dry. All right, guys, we're gonna be doing the fifth coat here. So I've already shaken up, the, shaken up the can, spraying out anything that might be stuck in the nozzle. All right. Again, a couple passes on this last one, a little bit thick, uh, pretty thick as far as compared to the first few coats. Doing head on. Do an up angle. Do a down angle. Other side. Up angle or down angle. Up angle. Okay. And I'm laying this one on pretty thick because this is going to be the last coat, really. And we're going to let this dry for probably closer to 20-30 minutes uh, before we start peeling everything off here. All right, so that's the last coat. All right, guys, so this has been drying for about 20, close to 30 minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and start peeling off the, uh, the masking that I had around this. Again, I just used spare or uh, excess vinyl wrap and then took the backing sheets and just taped it to make extra drape sheets there carefully peel this off to make sure that in case it's not quite set that I don't unintentionally rip this the wrong way but you can see how the plastic dip is already peeling and lifting on the part that's um, on the uh, what do you call this here on the vinyl itself and so that's a good sign because that tells me it should peel off nicely so I'm going to keep peeling off my masking here and I'm not ready to peel off I'm trying to break that sorry guys I'm not trying to peel off the plastic quite yet this vinyl wrap's been in the sun so it's grabbing a little hard to itself right now it's fine because vinyl wrap is great for just it's removable peel this off here So I'm going to continue this process of just peeling off the vinyl wrap and then leaving the uh, plastic dip around the emblems itself. Alright guys, so I've peeled off the, uh, the masking around this. You can see where it was starting to lift off the plastic dip uh, as I was peeling the masking off. And so now we're going to actually peel off the plastic dip around the letters. So you want to start peeling it you know, pretty carefully here. Take your time so you don't peel anything off of the actual letters themselves. If you need to break it or cut it, you can do that too to make it a little bit easier on you. See that as I did that there. Got a little bit inside this P. I'm going to peel off here. Peeling off under the A. In between the T. Here, I'm going to get it from the bottom side it looks like. Peeling that up, peeling that up. Like that. Same thing with this T right here. And the H, peeling this up that okay and I'm just trying to take my time peeling this off so I don't rip anything off the letters themselves now the reason this is working is because there is a slight gap between the body of the um, car itself and the and the lettering so you're able to where it's peeling and ripping from the letters is actually in that gap there so same thing here peeling between the eye I could probably go faster, but I'm erring on the side of caution, going slower. You know, we spent a good portion, you know, waiting 10, 15 minutes in between each layer. I did five coats. You know, I um, don't want to ruin all that time and effort uh, by rushing at the very end. So I'm just peeling away. Peeling that away. If it's 
in the way, just break it apart so you can see what you're doing a little better. Again, I've let this dry for about 25, maybe 30 minutes. Get that stuff on the inside of the R if I can. Oh, it broke, but I'll show you how to get those here in a minute. All right, so got the majority of the plastic dip off. This is what it looks like. It's almost like vinyl wrap, really. It's rubberized paint, really. And so to get the stuff that didn't break off in between, just take a toothpick. I'm using the regular pointy style toothpick here and try to, try to grab a hook and peel it out. Same thing here between the E. It, got caught, it broke off there as so I was trying to do that. Take your time, be careful so you don't scratch the actual lettering. Try to hook it up and peel. Just like that. And the D, you can see I kind of started here. So I just took the toothpick and just kind of jammed it if I could into the plastic dip and start so I can hook it. And then peel that out. Last part on this one is going to be the A. So, kind of the same concept. I'm just going to take my toothpick and switch sides here, get a better angle. Try to get in there. I hook that plastic dip out. There it is. Pull it out. And so, there you go, guys. Plastic dipped. Pathfinder. So let's go to the other side. All right, guys, same process. Basically, I'm just going to put the toothpick down here for now. Start peeling away. I'm going to cut this actually. Make it easier myself. Start peeling plastic dip from this side. If anybody's done craft vinyl, uh, you're probably familiar with the term weeding. So this is a lot like weeding excess vinyl once you send it through your cutting machine. So basically all I'm doing is peeling just like I did on the other one. Try to take my time so I don't mess anything up. Cut this here. getting caught on my knife. Let me retract the blade so I don't do anything bad. So there we go. So try to do a couple techniques there to make things a little bit easier on myself as I try to do this. Got my alarm going off there. All right, so just continuing to peel away here. So now I've got all this excess material that's you know I'm having a hard time seeing where I'm peeling, so I'm just gonna start cutting away some of this. So it's a little easier for me to see what I'm doing. Also a little easier for the camera and you guys to see what I'm doing as well. Boom, peel that. is pretty resilient, so I'm pulling that. I didn't want to pull too much harder for fear of ripping. So I'm going to just cut it. Peel away inside that P if I can, so I don't have to do it later. Oops, it broke off, so I'm going to have to do that now. Get the inside there, between the, come over the A and the T. Last big chunk is right here under the T. Peeling it away, boom. All right, so that's the majority of that. Take my toothpick now to finish it off. Get the stuff out of the P. Work the stuff inside the A here if I can get it. It's a little tough because it's tight space in there trying to get this. I set it up out. It's 
kind of curled up on itself inside. So I'm just going to try to work that piece out of there without ripping it off of the lettering itself. And it basically formed a little, a little booger right there. Yep, fell out. So the platinum looks like it's done. Now to get the D in the four wheel drive. All I'm doing, guys, is trying to break through the initial layering here so I can get the toothpick hooked in and under. Finally got it, hooked it. That's that. And the last piece here is this inside of the four of the four-wheel drive. And got it out. Alrighty. So that guys is that. And now you have a fully plasti dipped badge emblems for your vehicle. All right, guys, so I hope this video was helpful in showing you how to plasti dip the emblems on your car. Uh, but not only that, I hope it was helpful in showing you how easy it is to use plasti dip uh, to do that and other projects that you might be considering doing. If you did like this video, please, please, please consider giving it a thumbs up and hitting that subscribe button so that you get notifications uh, for any other further content or material I post on the channel. Thanks again, guys. Have a great day.